Hey, good morning, you guys. It is uh, freaking freezing outside. I mean, not just like cold. I mean, it's literally freezing. Uh, I woke up and it was 30 degrees here on the coast. Uh, yesterday went from a total shit show to uh, a complete dumpster fire. You guys, I gotta get out of this wind. That is a seven inch monster. There's a fish. Did I lose it? Oh, I lost it. No. The wind is still ripping. At this point, it's pouring rain. I ended up uh, just kind of driving, finding a place to camp, and uh, started a fire and hanging out. We're up and at them now. Got the car all cleaned up, so let's make our way down to the beach and see about getting uh, some gear in the water. Here it goes, you guys. This is my first ever attempt at uh, surf perch fishing. I must admit my rig is pretty shoddy, uh, but we'll give it a shot. It's hard for me to believe that anything is living and swimming in that, but uh, let's give it a shot. Ocean one, me zero. the tide is rolling my weight all over the place but it feels like something is happening look at that i think i got a fish oh my god i do i got a fish oh my god you guys i can't believe this i've never been surf perch fishing in my life i've been out about an hour look at that my very first surf perch. That's so cool. I honestly didn't think this was going to happen. I'm like, no idea what I'm doing, but what a beautiful little fish. I don't know, should I let him go? Seems risky, right? I think this is a red tail. I don't really know how big they get. Uh, so maybe this one's a monster. <laughs> maybe it's tiny. I don't know. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to let this guy go. Awesome. See if we can do it again. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't believe that just happened. That was so awesome. Uh, my first surf perch. There were some people up on the bluff <laughs> screaming and hooting and hollering because uh, I was down here yelling. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm waiting until the kind of a wave rolls way out because I didn't bring hip waders. And once I can get a little ways out here, I cast just as far as I can. Make sure my gear is tight and in line. Open the bale and then go way back. And that way, I got all my gear way, way out there. Oh, cow, you guys. I think I got another one. I think I got another one. Oh my gosh. I do! <laughs> yes! Let's see if I can retrieve this guy without getting swept out into the ocean. Look at that! There he is! Oh, definitely smaller than the first one. Oh, wave! Oh, wave! Ah. Surf perch number two. This one's smaller. I'm gonna let this guy go too. All right, you guys, it feels like uh, the universe is trying to take a crap on my adventure here. Um, but apparently a gentleman came around and said this campground is closing. I guess what that means is we got to go find a day use area, catch a couple fish and then head out into the forest or maybe find another campground. I'm not sure, but we got to catch a couple fish and then find somewhere to camp and find firewood. It's a real bummer. I was going to camp here the next couple nights. 
let's go figure this out. Well, it's been about an hour since I talked to you guys last. I uh, did, in fact, have to move camps. Um, I found a new campground. Um, the only thing about it is that the camps right on the water are closed, but no big deal, that's okay. I also went and bought some firewood just to uh, save time. Whoa, which absolutely just destroys my soul to buy firewood. Uh, especially when I live somewhere with uh, an infinite amount of firewood. Anyway, we're back at the beach in a different spot. It's the day use area, so let's see if we can't get into a couple fish and then we'll head back to camp and try and cook those bad boys up. Gotta beat this wave! Ah! Holy cow! I think I had a bite. I'm very used to uh, feeling what my gear is doing in lakes and rivers, but it's way different out here in the ocean. I got a three ounce weight on there. It's getting dragged all over the place, but I'm almost positive I just had a bite. Maybe I should have brought hip waders. <laughs> Fish on, you guys. I got a fish on. There's a, a seal or a sea lion out there, so I don't want him to steal it. See if I can get this guy in before I get pounded by the waves here. It's just a weird feeling reeling these things in in the tide. Hopefully, I didn't catch a sea lion. Get out of here, wave. Definitely not a monster. These guys have some, some pokies on them. Stole my. Uh, Stole my worm. I have to re-rig up. All right, surf perch. I'm gonna put knock this guy out, and then uh, we'll keep him, cook him up tonight, hopefully. Oh, eh, eh, there's another fish. There's another fish. Yes. Woo! This is some of the craziest fishing I've ever done. What a crazy experience. Come on, buddy. Sorry to drag you up the shore like that. I'm gonna eat you. Well, the tide has nearly consumed the entire beach here. So I'm gonna call it for the uh, surf perch fishing today. I haven't eaten yet. I'm gonna drink a little bit of eggnog. Uh, eggnog season is the best season, ask the adventure wife. Uh, pretty much from November to December, there's always eggnog at the house. So I'm just gonna sit, eat something, uh, and then we'll go find a camp spot and get to cooking. Got a pretty sweet campsite here. It's just one row inland from the row of campsites that are right on the water. I guess they closed those down because there's supposed to be a super high tide tonight. And I don't know what they're scared of, the campsites literally washing into the ocean. I'm not sure, but anyway, we got a goal for tonight, uh, which is abnormal. We're gonna attempt to cook something before it's pitch black out. Goal failed, you guys. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get that stuff cooked before it's dark out, still waiting on a bed of coals. And it just gets so dark so early here in the Pacific Northwest in the winter time. It's only about 4 p.m. and the sun is already setting. But I grabbed myself a beer here. And don't worry, I haven't had any eggnog in a couple hours because 
beer and eggnog just don't go together. So let's go check out the sunset and we'll wait for that bed of coals and then we'll go cook something up. process up, huh? Slap these fish on. Flame broil this here steak. Oh yeah. So the steak, I, uh, I just put salt on it like, I don't know, 30 minutes before I'm gonna cook it, just let it sit like that. It makes a really great steak. And then the two surf perch, I just covered them in Old Bay, wrapped them in tin foil, and uh, we're gonna cook them whole, just like that, over the fire. Hot, hot, ow, 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 oh, yeah. I'm gonna throw that on the grill for a minute. Mistakes may have been made. Where's my spatula? Oh man, yeah. Well, as usual, filming in the dark. I'm trying to trying to cook and eat film in the dark here. A bit of surf perch there. A little bit mushy, not gonna lie. Never cooked a surf perch before. You guys uh, are surf perch cooking experts. Let me know how you do it. Oh yeah, perfect, rare in the middle, a little char on the outside. What's this, a little surfing turf we got going on? Mm. Yum. I can say that the surf perch really tastes good. You guys gotta figure out how to cook it. That was a pretty crazy uh, orchestra earlier today. I was like running out at low waves casting way out and then running back trying to self film all that and then uh, make sure I don't get swept down the ocean and then make, make sure my like camera stuff doesn't get swept out that was nuts surf perch for fishing is so fun though I can't wait to do it again okay I'm gonna finish this I'll save you guys the uh, the eating in the dark catch up with you in a bit so one time, about a decade ago, uh, I drove from C uh, Portland to a, a bit north of Seattle, and it took me over 16 hours, and that was an event called the Snowpocalypse, and it wasn't even that bad. People just freak out here when it snows. Um, so I've been on the phone with the adventure wife, and she said there's a 100% chance of snow and rain tomorrow, and so I got on the old weather app, and it said there's a atmospheric river of snow and rain expected to hit the Pacific Northwest uh, tonight and tomorrow and the next couple days. I really, really don't want to drive through the Seattle area, which I would have to to get home. It's about a five hour drive from here to my house through the Seattle area. Um, I really don't want to drive through there during another snowpocalypse. So instead of leaving tomorrow when it's snowing, I'm actually gonna leave right now. So uh, I can avoid that hot mess. Uh, this has been a super rad adventure. I don't know if surf perching is just awesome or if it was just super awesome because it was my first time and I actually caught fish, but I'm definitely coming back out to do this again. So with that being said, thanks for watching you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put this fire out and I'll catch you on the next one.